Ernie Davis, America's greatest running back, a player to remember. What made Ernie Davis so great? Was it his extreme speed? Or perhaps it was his incredible strength? Or maybe it was his nose for the touchdown? Or maybe it was a combination of all three? In September of 1958, he had received over 50 scholarships to major colleges, but was persuaded by former Syracuse running back Jim Brown and head coach Ben Schwartzwalder. Jim, looking back on it, how good was Ernie Davis? <laughs> Great player. He had the full package, quickness, speed, power, uh, agility. Most of all, intelligence. Jim, when Ernie Davis won the Heisman Trophy, how significant was it? It was very significant for most people. Uh, the kid was so good. Uh, this guy transcended race and everything. You know, people just liked him. And so you put the, the great ability with his likability, and then the Heisman Trophy is easy for them to now come across the line. What was your relationship like? With Ernie Davis. I had a great relationship with him. I helped recruit him. Uh, he was my friend. Uh, I admired the fact that when he got leukemia, he never, never cried the blues, never had any pity for himself. And he was a very honest individual that people loved. And he was the opposite of me. I was honest, but I was too aggressive and abrasive. And Because freshmen weren't allowed to play, Ernie Davis spent his first year learning the game under legendary coach Ben Schwartzwalder. led Syracuse to the NCAA Division 1A National Football Championship, having an undefeated season with a 23-14 win over the University of Texas in the Cotton Bowl, earning him an MVP award. During Ernie's junior year, he rushed for a total of 877 yards with an average of 7.8 yards a carry and a total of 8 touchdowns. Davis was named an All-American. Although Ernie's senior year wasn't as impressive as the others, he managed to win All-American honors, rushed for over 820 yards, and held a 5.5 yard per carry ratio. He also had 15 touchdowns. During his senior year, he won the Heisman Trophy going into record books as the first African-American to win this prestigious award. The Heisman Trophy is an honorable award given to the best player in the nation of that year. On Wednesday, November 29, 1961, Ernie Davis attended the Heisman Trophy recognition ceremony. While he was there, he won the Heisman Trophy, beating Bob Ferguson, a fullback from Ohio State, by 53 votes. At the ceremony, Ernie Davis was visited by John F. Kennedy, who congratulated him and said, Seldom has an athlete been such a tribute. Your high standards of performance on the field and off the field reflect the finest qualities of competition, sportsmanship, and citizenship. The nation has bestowed upon you its highest awards for your athletic achievements. It's a privilege for me to address you tonight as an outstanding American and as a worthy example of our youth. I salute you. Ernie Davis was born on December 14, 1939, in New Salem, Pennsylvania. He was raised by his grandparents in Uniontown, Pennsylvania, until the age of 12, when his mom moved him to live with her in Elmira, New York. He played in Elmira's small fry football league and immediately stuck out. Ernie suffered from a serious stuttering problem as a kid that he overcame by reading the Bible out loud at night. Ernie played many sports, including football, basketball, and baseball. Ernie attended high school at Elmira Free Academy, where he excelled at all three. He was named a football All-American in high school his junior and senior year. He was highly recognized by over 50 big colleges, but chose Syracuse University over all the rest. The 1960s were a very racially hostile time. Ernie Davis was one of the many people fighting segregation at the time. But unlike some of the bigger political figures such as Martin Luther King Jr., Ernie Davis did his talking on the field. As Syracuse excelled, it forced other teams to integrate their programs to keep up with the constantly changing tempo of the game. This also inspired many other African American players. Ernie 
Davis was drafted in the first round by the Washington Redskins and almost immediately traded to the Cleveland Browns. Ernie Davis never played a single down in professional college football because he was diagnosed with leukemia. In the summer of 1962, Ernie was diagnosed with acute monocytic leukemia, which is incurable. Ernie Davis died May 18, 1963, in Cleveland Lakeside Hospital. Ernie's gravestone read: Ernie Davis, 1939 to 1963, 1961 Heisman Trophy. Football player, a student, a friend, a hero. He lived with integrity and died with courage. Ah! Jedi Sith Master, Austin Countess. The Spectacular Jedi, Dalton Bedard. And Sith Lord, Dean Falkenberry. The Jedi crew uses their powers to bring you annotated bibliography. All right, we like to thank Google, Google Images, YouTube, Wikipedia, Therapeutics.com, ESPN.go.com. This concludes our short bibliography.